All right, today I just wanted to give a little detailed look at the Park Zone Fock Wolf 190A-8. Uh, this is their newest park flyer. It is made to take the retracks, and it also has a serverless uh, payload release, so you can drop the drop tank. I've got that installed. I do not have the retracks yet. I'm waiting for those to come back in stock. Uh, but this is just an absolutely gorgeous, it's a gorgeous plane, and this is a gorgeous model of it. It is just so incredibly detailed. It's got panel lines, just really, really nice detail. It's got the uh, impeller, which is this fan on the inside, which actually does function to help cool the ESC and motor. It's got a brushless motor. A uh, cool little hatch release. You just push a button here to get into the insides. Takes a 3S battery. It's got a pilot figure and actually has some some of uh, the cockpit details in there on the instrument panel. It's got a steerable tail wheel and just really really nice construction. The, the foam just feels really good and solid. It is just so nice. The uh, bomb drop was just absolutely easy to install. I don't know if I can really get an angle on it, but there's just two screws that you unscrew the the uh, non-electronically uh, controlled one that comes with it, and you just screw in the one with the servo in it, or the servo-less electronics, however that works. Uh, so just two screws to screw in, and plug the cord into your receiver and that's all there is to it. Um, it's super easy to install the, or to set up. You just uh, clip the, the horizontal stab and the elevator into place and screw the wing into place. You've got a couple little guns to you just push those into the wing. They're just a snap fit. Uh, one thing I did notice when installing the wing uh, the servo wires are a little bit short and so it was kind of hard to get those to reach through into the receiver but the receiver comes with a, a little Y adapter on it so what I did is I unplugged that Y adapter from the servo plugged it into the wires on the wing and then fed the entire uh, Y adapter through which made it much easier so I would suggest doing that when you set it up uh, but other than that I mean there's just no no problems no complaints uh, I still haven't gotten to fly it yet because of the weather um, maybe I'll get the retracks installed before I even maiden it so that'd be kind of cool to do the maiden with the retracks uh, but that's about all there is to it just wanted to show you guys a look at it and keep your eye out for the maiden flight Alright, well thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.